I will not bow down, America. I will not bow down to your government, to your religion. I will not bow down, America, to your materialism, to your international corporations, to your religious shrines, your stock markets, your shopping malls. I will not bow down, America, to your coal mines, to your power plants. I will not go crawling down the deep shafts at midnight. I will not bow down, America, to your invasion of privacy, to your moral absolutes, your religious political might. I will not bow down, America, to your assassins, the CIA, the FBI, the corporate police state, your killing, murdering machines. I will not bow down, America, to your bureaucracies, to your schools, to your attempt to make me the model citizen of your state, of your church. I will not bow down, America, to your history of lies, to your secrets in the best interest of, to protect the people, America, America, I pledge allegiance to those who were here before you, to those who will be here after you are gone, America, I pledge allegiance to the woman I love, I pledge allegiance to my children, to my grandchildren, to my godchildren, to all my children to come. I pledge allegiance to my friends and allies, my gods and angels, both seen and unseen. America, I pledge allegiance to poetry, to music, to art, to the literary renaissance, to the global literary community. I pledge allegiance to the beat, to the outsider. I pledge allegiance to meditation, to stillness, to magic, to beautiful mysticism, to ecstasy, to awe and aha to the Big Bang Epiphany, to altered states of consciousness. I pledge allegiance to seeing into the occult, the unknown, to seeing into every day, into the ordinary and being amazed. I pledge allegiance to the sacred and the profane, to Gnostical turpitude. I pledge allegiance to my physical body and to the knowledge that I am more than my physical body. I pledge allegiance to seeing more than the physical world and to those of higher frequency, vibration, and consciousness. I pledge allegiance to passing through the sacred fire, to entering the upper chamber of the golden pyramid, to levitating over the open sarcophagus, to out of body experience. I pledge allegiance to the hottest sex and to gentle affection. I pledge allegiance to fractal geometry, the geometry of clouds and coastlines, to two times two equaling five. I pledge allegiance to failure, to failing as no other dare fail. I pledge allegiance to taking risks, to holy daring, to non miyoho rinde kio, to accepting responsibility for my own actions. I pledge allegiance to not achieving the American dream of success, America, America. I pledge allegiance to trees, to green grass, to brown earth, to wildflowers of every color, to wilderness, to turquoise Native American skies, to rivers, lakes, and seas, to healing the earth. I pledge allegiance to the Holy Spirit, to the Word, and to silence. I pledge allegiance to dreams, to birth, to the journey, and to death. I pledge allegiance to candor, to sincerity, to laughter, to irony, to passion, to compassion, to empathy, and to helping those in need. I pledge allegiance to resurrection of the heart. I pledge allegiance to resurrection of the heart. No, 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 America, I will not bow down. I will not bow down. I will not. I sold, climbed the Viking Mountain in Iceland. Came a big storm on top of that mountain. Several people have been blown off to their deaths. I was nearly blown off three times. But I made it down, obviously. When I got down, I wrote this poem. 
Jen went with me, we climbed it again. Last summer solstice, Jen climbed it barefoot. She's a tough lady. The Storm Generation Manifesto. We tip our hats to the lost and the bee. We go our own way. We are the Storm Generation. We are the Storm. We are a new generation of artists. We are poets, writers, painters, sculptors, composers, musicians, singers, dancers, playwrights, filmmakers. We are creative expression. We blow away lies and injustice. We are graphic. We are honest. We tell it like it is. We are fierce. We are brutal. We are compassionate. We are gentle. We are kind. We have soft hearts. We are free. We are spirit. We are sex. We dwell in the realms of the creative imagination. We are the creative imagination. We know that the shortest distance between two points is creative distance. We pay attention to the long forgotten wisdom voices of the forest. We vanquish the overtly materialistic greedy who intentionally destroy mountains. We honor mountains and oceans and eagles and wolves. We cherish Mother Earth and all her terrible beauty. We are non-violent spiritual warriors. We are lightning. We are thunder. We are song poems. We are fearless visionary poets. We have wolf eyes. We have wolf eyes. We are more than the eye of the storm. We are the storm. We refuse. We will not bow down. We will never give up. We are God's open nerve. We are God's open nerve. We are the storm generation. We are the storm generation. The storm. The storm. 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 years and uh, I was at the University of Louisville for five years and one morning I was I spent 20 years sleeping two hours a night working two full-time uh, teaching college jobs raising three kids where they pretty much raised themselves and uh, producing three to five events a week and publishing three to four new titles a month and one morning I was on my way to U of L getting ready to go out the door to teach and I got a phone call from the Secret Service I didn't go teach that day but I ended up and it's a hell of a day hellish but I wrote this poem as a result of it. Tapping my own phone. I'm going straight. Bought myself a flat top haircut so stiff I can carry a tray of martinis waiting on people. Someone to open up her purse and give me a tip cause I don't have a clue anymore as to what's going on but I do know that I'm one step ahead tapping my own phone to hear myself talking with people who used to be my friends listening so I can correct myself before they do and I've got a surveillance camera in my abandoned car across the street watching myself replaying the tape so I can see if I'm acting funny before they catch me doing something I shouldn't like yesterday I spotted myself walking too fast and I heard myself talking too loud yes I got the deep fear Paranoia, anxiety, despair, and suicide blues. But I'm making sure I don't do nothing else wrong because I done screwed up so many times I pulled myself into a back street dead end alley of paranoia. And every time I hear an airplane or helicopter or car door slam, I know the Secret Service, the FBI, and the IRS SWAT teams have finally arrived because I published a poem by the President of you know, the United States of America without his fully conscious permission. And I'm sure I haven't paid enough taxes cause I've got no income yet. Somehow I keep on doing things like eating every once in a while and paying a light bill or two. But how do I do it? They're gonna ask. What's the source of your income? And how come you don't come to see us anymore? So yes, I've, I've become a little jumpy, but I'm staying one step ahead. Tapping my own phone, videotaping my every move, watching myself day and night, replaying the tapes cause I've got a Bad, bad, bad case of the deep fear, paranoia, anxiety, despair, and suicide. Bitch. And that's a totally true story. 